right now board has approved a buyback of uh, roughly about I think 11,000 crore rupees is mm. the buyback that has mm. been approved so they will be purchasing um, 343 million shares at a price of 320 so that would roughly represent close to about 7% of the paid up equity capital uh, so 320 which means there is an upside because the stock closed at 270 as of today so uh, that would imply an upside of roughly 18 and a half percent so those are the details about the buyback 343 million shares at an 18 percent premium to where the stock close and the total size of the buyback is about 11,000 crore rupees let me just try getting the numbers as well these are the consolidated net profits. So this is the consolidated performance. What we await would be the IT services business in terms of revenues as well as in terms of profitability and more importantly, in terms of the guidance as well. So those details, I'm not too sure. I think what is flashing is the consolidated business of Wipro. What we need is the IT performance. So I'll just wait by for some details on that. Okay, let's, let's get uh, Sarabjit Kaur Nagra to comment on the buyback. 11,000 crore rupees, Sarabjit, uh, as per your uh, your expectation? Uh, I was, uh, I think it's, uh, um, I expected a good buyback happening because the company has been pretty vocal uh, uh, about uh, sharing its cash flow with the shareholders and uh, they were the first one probably once to say that we will uh, make sure that the cash on the books will be utilized, if not for acquisition, but to give rewarding shareholders. So I think it's a decent buyback uh, coming in. What yeah. was your expectation uh, on the buyback figure? Because I, I, I saw reports <coughs> ranging between 5,000 to 6,000 crore rupees. So this is significantly higher. Mm, I was not putting in a guess estimate. I have not worked out any numbers on their uh, possible okay. buyback. But I think it gave, given the amount that's Okay, okay, we have we you, the other figures. So. Yeah, no, we don't have any more figures. We've got Urmil Shah of IDBI Capital joining in. Urmil, it's 11,000 crore buyback, price 320. Would you recommend retail uh, investors tender in into the buyback? Yeah, uh, uh, in fact, uh, we believe that the price of 320 uh, is uh, you know attractive for retail investors to tender. Uh, given the headwinds, one, the sector is also facing and uh, because of that, uh, Wipro is likely also to uh, see uh, in the near term. Uh, in fact, we were expecting uh, a 5,000 crore uh, worth uh, buyback and the pricing is almost uh, uh, near to what they did uh, last year. Uh, so uh, overall, we would recommend uh, uh, you know investors to tender to the buyback. Okay, we have Sanjeev Bhasin also joining into the conversation. Sanjeev, uh, your initial comment on the buyback per se, we're just waiting for the IT services revenue breakup. Uh, well, uh, I think uh, it's a good opportunity to exit, you know, just as TCS gave a very lucrative buyback. Same is the case with Wipro. I think uh, it's a good opportunity to exit and... Uh, uh, because we think the stock will be fully priced at those levels. Okay, I think I'm getting in the numbers. Uh, the dollar revenue has come in at $1,971.7 million. Now that is better than what the street was anticipating. So the IT services dollar revenue uh, represents a sequential increase of 0.9%. Uh, um, this seems slightly better than what the street was anticipating. I think in constant currency, it's a growth of 3.4%. Margins at 16.4% are also higher than what the street was anticipating. However, I think the guidance is going to disappoint the street because they are guiding for a decline in uh, Q Q2. So $1,971.7 million. Uh, which appears to be higher than what the street was anticipating. So I think that would go down as a good number with a um, constant currency increase is 0.3% sequentially. So the constant currency growth has come in at 0.3%, which is closer to the upper end of the company's guided band of minus 2 to 0%. And uh, the Q2 guidance would imply a decline at the lower end in uh, Q2. Sanjeev, you want to come in on these numbers? Well, uh, it's something which we had also built in in our numbers, but you know, it's the decline in going forward which seems to be weakening. And you know, we, uh, Wipro was seasonally supposed to have a good quarter in this one. So, so we'll wait for the guidance, but we think uh, this is in line with what our numbers and estimates was. 
Okay, let me come go across to Urmil Shah. Urmil Shah, uh, what were you expecting on the guidance? Is this higher than what you were ex expecting or is this a disappointment? Uh, so one, uh, the Q, uh, Q1 numbers are slightly higher than what we were expecting. Uh, we were expecting, uh, you know, uh, in, in fact, uh, a 0.8% decline on a QOQ basis. Uh, so, uh, keeping that into context, uh, the Q2 growth, uh, guide, uh, the guidance is lower because we were expecting a 1 to 3% uh, uh, QOQ growth uh, as a guidance to be given by the company. Okay, so let me just quickly uh, paraphrase the numbers for you. Q1 is a bid, as Urmil was pointing out, the company has delivered a 0.8% increase in their dollar revenue versus estimates of a flat performance. So Q1 numbers are looking good. Margins at 16.8%, better than the 16.5% that we were anticipating. It's the Q2 guidance which has disappointed the street. The company is guiding for minus half to 1.5% in Q2, and this is lower than consensus expectations. So this is pretty much deja vu. Even last quarter, if you remember, uh, that quarter was good, but the guidance was weak. Yeah. Again, the same story is playing out. This quarter, uh, the numbers are looking good better than street expectations but the optimism is tempered because in the coming quarter the guidance is minus half at the lower end to plus one and a half at the upper end what could buffer it is the buyback announcement 11,000 yeah. crore rupees 320 is the tender price that's about an 18 and a half percent upside but again it's the Q2 disappointment which leaves you wanting you know Reema last time around the management had indicated that the turnaround will begin by the first quarter so uh, I'm assuming that there could be some kind of a change in commentary there they were expecting to reach the industry growth figures by at least the fourth quarter let me uh, quickly get our other guests in as well we are expecting Reliance's earnings as well in some time. Sarajit, what do you make of the margin figure? Margin seems to have just come in line with what we were expecting. But uh, what do you... Okay, the Wipro press conference is just uh, starting. Sarajit, quick word on the margin, then then we'll cut across to the management. Uh, margins, yeah, actually, there were many uh, uh, many factors affecting the quarter. So I think uh, whatever factors are known in terms of uh, salary hikes, in terms of rupee appreciation and everything i think it was just a uh, bit safe because of uh, good growth so i think apart from that there's no play happening in wipro's number right now same question to you sanjeev well like we said you know if uh, where whereas the large uh, the, the bellwether like tcs and infosys still have 24 percent at 15 and a half 16 wipro has always been a laggard as far as the margin so, like you said, you know, some of their acquisitions last to last quarter did have played out well, and that's what they were saying, the synergies. But going forward, the guidance seems weak, okay. and I think in this 15-16%, you'll have... Yes, uh, Sanjeev.